mom is a real good lip reader. A lot of deaf people are. They can understand what you say to them by reading your lips, and my mom is real good at it. In fact, to this day, my mom is the only person I know who still likes Millie Vanilli. <laughs> <laughs> one of those losers anytime I feel like it. <laughs> I also have an uncle who's a deaf mute. He's also dyslexic, which is kind of weird. It's really fun to make him mad, though, because he flips himself off. <laughs> <laughs> Hours of entertainment. Uh, they got one of those closed caption machines for the television. This is a machine that lets deaf people know what people in movies are saying. Great machines. You know, not necessary for Stallone's films. <laughs> it's kind of hard to spell out the words. <laughs> but what bothers me about these machines is that they paraphrase. They don't say everything word for word. And that really sucks when I'm sitting there with my parents watching a classic, something like Casablanca. Humphrey Bogart is standing there going, you're getting on that plane with Big Lanslow. Because if you don't, you're going to regret it. Maybe not today, maybe not tomorrow, but soon and for the rest of your life. Underneath him it says, look, your plane is leaving. <laughs> Mom, Dad, this machine is threatening you. My dad has a real good sense of humor about being a deaf mute. It doesn't seem to bother him much. In fact, every year at Christmas time, my dad always tells the same story. I don't know if this really happened or not, because you never know with my dad, but he swears up and time, he swears up and down that one time, him and my mom went to Florida. And when they got there, my dad wanted to go out and have some drinks. My mom didn't want to go. So my dad went on his own, had more drinks than he had planned. And when he got back to the hotel, he couldn't remember the room number they were staying in. He said he had it narrowed down to the section, but he didn't know which room it was. Finally, he got an idea. He got in his car and held the horn down, so all these lights came on except one, and he went to that room. <laughs> I think it's full of shit myself, I don't think I have it. You know something else I've noticed? Not all of my parents' neighbors have figured out that they're deaf mute. Because sometimes my dad will go outside and there'll be some kid across the street going, Hi! 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 And I'm watching this thinking, boy, this must be great for his self-esteem. <laughs> It just amuses me to think that if my parents ever get murdered, the neighbors are going to be telling the cops, yeah, they were quiet people. <laughs> uh, you guys have a good day today? I didn't. <laughs> Actually, I, I had, well, last week was probably one of the worst days of my life. I, I got a ticket. I didn't really go through the red light. I just kind of ended up in the middle of the intersection, you know, sideways. <laughs> and this cop comes over and he goes, did you see that light? I probably shouldn't have said this. <laughs> I said, hey, the hell with it. You seen one, you seen them all. Right? <laughs> the only reason it pissed me off is because it was the cop that distracted me to begin with. You ever had that happen to you? You're driving along and you look over. Uh-oh. There's a cop. <laughs> You better watch what I'm doing. <laughs> he told me anything I said would be held against me. <laughs> I said, your daughter. <laughs> and I spent an hour pulling a nightstick out of my ass. <laughs> Apparently a sense of humor doesn't come with donuts. <laughs> I'm sure a lot of you read about a year and a half ago, cops are getting cancer now from those radar guns. Some of them are getting testicular cancer. Apparently what they've been doing is they've been taking these radar guns and placing them between their legs while they're sitting off on the side of the highway waiting to nab us. Oh darn. <laughs> <laughs> Color me bum. I don't know how you feel about it, but the next time a cop looks at me and goes, you know there's going to be a $75 fine gun, I'm going to look at him and go, one of your balls is going to fall off. What am I doing? Huh? The only thing they got nabbed was your nads. <laughs> uh, tell you a true experience I had with a cop recently. I was in this department store. And I saw a guy shopping. Normally I don't know what I would do under these circumstances, but this store was owned and managed by a friend of mine. 
So I followed the guy out into the parking lot, and I got his license plate number. So now I got this cop on the phone, and the cop goes, all right, what's the license plate number? I go, CWZ, blah, blah, blah. He goes, okay, let me write that down. Then he comes back and he goes, is that Charles William Zebra? This is how stupid I am. I go, I don't know the guy's name. I'm just calling to report the crime, man. <laughs> Even as I said it, I'm thinking, you stupid idiot. <laughs> how many times have you watched Dragnet? I'll tell you what's really advantageous for me is because my parents are deaf mutes, when I get pulled over by the cops, I know sign language is pretty good, so I'll pretend I'm a deaf mute. <laughs> it works sometimes, too. The cops standing there like, um, okay, uh, you, you were driving really fast. <laughs> and you know the uh, radar? <laughs> How the hell was it going? <laughs> Lucky that no sign language are like, share them writing that one down. That would work with Jehovah's Witnesses, too. <laughs> it's a bad day getting pulled over by a cop. You ever have a really bad day to make up for you try to piss off other people? Try this. Go into a Baskin Robbins when they're really busy and ask if you can taste vanilla. <laughs> And they get pissed. Because they have to do it. <laughs> just go into any restaurant and ask the waitress, what comes on the bacon, lettuce, and tomato sandwich? <laughs> uh, I travel a lot, like most comics. It's kind of rough on me because I drive a 79 Pontiac. <laughs> when I get to a, a, to a I like through a toll booth, and the woman goes, 250. I go, sold. <laughs> sure, man, take it home. I almost got rid of it yesterday. <laughs> uh, I was in Arkansas a few months ago. I'm not proud of it. I need the money. And uh, I, I can't find this bar that I have to do a show at. So there's this guy walking down the street, and I asked him where the bar is. I'm not making this up, the guy looks at me and goes, Oh, Haley, you can't miss it. It's right next to McDonald's. Well, thank you for narrowing it down, Monkey. <laughs> you know you're in a small town when you get directions like that. Where's that McDonald's? It's right next to the mailbox. <laughs> okay, okay. I was in a McDonald's not too long ago. I overheard the manager yelling at this kid. And the whole gist of the conversation was that the manager didn't feel this kid was experienced enough to run the shape machine. <laughs> There's an eco booster. Hey, let me tell you something, young man. You're not ready to be a loser. <laughs> Do a lot of reading. My son of applause. How many people here consider themselves to be fairly avid readers? But <laughs> most of you, some of you are sitting out there going, "What the hell does avid mean?" <laughs> Learned a lot of bizarre things from reading. For instance, did you know that when the praying mantis makes love, the female turns around and starts eating the male? Yay! <laughs> <laughs> That's a whole different category. A voice of experience. <laughs> you should be. <laughs> now the amazing part is, even after his head and shoulders have been eaten off, he can continue with the mating process. <laughs> I can't even make it through a leg cramp, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> no, stay there, honey, stay on the ladder. <laughs> I like to read newspapers a lot, too. I was in Louisville, Kentucky once, and I'm reading the Louisville paper. One of the headlines in the paper said, Man robs and kills himself. <laughs> I'm sitting there thinking, shit, I guess he knew too much. <laughs> Uh, how do you guys feel about Clinton so far? <laughs> Don't you read the papers, Pat? Man, he sucks. <laughs> I haven't heard much from Ross Perot lately. 
I guess he climbed back into his tree trunk to make more cookies. But, uh... Remember just recently when it was rumored that Hillary was pregnant? Remember that? Apparently, I was just reading this a couple weeks ago, apparently it was so like pervasive in the press that Chelsea actually believed it because she hadn't talked to her parents in a couple of days. Actually believed that her mother was pregnant. Did you imagine she's sitting around wondering what it'd be like to have a brother or sister? You know, even though she probably already has several hundred across the country, but that's a doesn't really count. <laughs> uh, I guess we're stuck with Kennedy. How do you feel about that, Ted Kennedy? Yeah. <laughs> Everybody makes fun of his drinking, you know. I mean, if you consider what happened to his two brothers, I'd be trying to stagger as much as possible, too, you know? <laughs> but still, you son of a... <laughs> Just lying, like, believe I don't know. <laughs> uh, anyone here ever bungee jump? One person? Did you say you had? Yeah. What'd you do it off of? A crane. A crane? See, that's what most people do it off of. This friend of mine did it off a bridge. And she called me up, she's really excited about it. Oh, you gotta go with me next time. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> Could you see me bungee jumping? <laughs> well, that's the first time that's ever happened. <laughs> Did we forget to weigh him or what? <laughs> but this is the weird part. She did it off a bridge, and she told me that one of the options, apparently, maybe you heard of this, one of the options they give you when you bungee jump from a bridge is that if you want, they can make the cord just long enough so that your head dips into the water before you come back up. I couldn't help but think to myself, what a traumatic experience <laughs> for the fish. <laughs> Can you imagine that? This is your own little world, right? You're just swimming along. All of a sudden. Whoa! I just saw God! Really, what's he look like? Dom Deloise! My name is Scott Elkman, folks. Thanks a lot.